Well, artificial sweetener aspartame is expected to join the World Health Organization's list as a possible human carcinogen. It's a product that's found in thousands of products worldwide. Joining me live now to discuss this further is Professor of Chemistry at RMIT University, Oliver Jones. Professor, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. As I just mentioned, aspartame is expected to join the World Health Organization's list as a possible human carcinogen. What has brought this on? Uh, well, Christy, thank you very much for having me. Um, well, it's actually a class, it's um, actually a group called the International Agency for Research on Cancer, which is a subgroup of the World Health Organization. Um, and they routinely review chemicals to decide whether they might or might not cause cancer. And so this is just one of the many reviews they've done over the years. And what sort of products is it found in? We've heard of the common ones uh, being Coke, no sugar, Coke Zero. Uh, but what other things is it found in? Oh, it's in a wide range of products. So there's, there's low calorie soft drinks, there's low calorie um, uh, puddings and, and desserts and things like that. It's in some low calorie uh, sugar free chewing gum, uh, things like that. Oh, and you know, uh, things you put in your coffee, sweeteners. And how concerned should people that consume these products be? Uh, not very would be my answer. The first thing you've got to remember is that the IARC is not a food safety regulation agency. Um, all they do is look at whether something might cause cancer uh, or not under certain conditions. And they're really only assessing the hazard, which is the, the cancer, right? The, maybe it causes cancer, but not, not the risk. And the risk is the likelihood of the hazard. So there are plenty of things that we're exposed to every day that potentially cause cancer. Uh, so, for example, if you go onto the beach in the middle of summer, you put sunscreen on to protect yourself from UV rays. Um, if you go out in winter, you don't bother because the, the, the amount of sun is not so high. Um, if you drink alcohol, alcohol is a, a class one carcinogen. Uh, but that doesn't mean if you have a glass of wine that you're going to get cancer instantly, if you see what I mean. So do we know how much you would need to consume to be at risk? Um, well, there isn't actually any stuff that says if you drink X amount of uh, Coke containing this amount of aspartame, you'll, you'll get cancer, if that's what you're asking. It's um, currently you'd have to drink about 19, I think, or 19 or 20 litres of, of Diet Coke uh, to get anywhere near a sort of a, a level that's deemed potentially unsafe by the Food Standards Agency. But, you know, most people, I don't think anyone would drink that much in one go. And uh, so why? And even that much. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> Oh, so I was going to say, even that, that wouldn't give you cancer. That's just um, what they deem a, you know, a reasonable dose. Right, OK. Uh, so why would it have been approved for use in the first place? Um, well, because it would have been assessed by the various food standards agencies around the world, such as the, um, you know, the Food Safe Standards Agency in the UK, the US FDA, um, FSANS in Australia and New Zealand, um, as being safe for use as a food additive. Uh, and they would have looked at all the literature around um, this compound. It undergoes quite rigorous, rigorous testing and um, assessment before it's uh, approved for use. And is it likely that it will be forced to be taken out of these products or will warning labels be required or will it just continue as normal? Um, well, that's a bit hard to say. I suspect it'll be just continue as normal. Um, remembering that it's the food safety agencies of various countries that set the regulations on food products. So they might want to have a look at this and see what the IOC actually says, because the, the report actually hasn't come out yet. It's not due to be released until the 14th of July. Um, so if the food agencies want to have a look at this and then decide what, what needs to be done, then that will happen. But I suspect there really isn't much need for a change. And the other thing to remember is they've actually classified this as level 2B, which is the possible carcinogen, which is the second lowest. Um, but the, the, the classifications the IRC actually use range from, you know, class one carcinogen to three level, uh, sorry, three, which is um, non-classifiable, which technically means that anything they assess, they can't absolutely rule out that it doesn't cause cancer. So although it sounds scary, um, it's actually not that big a deal in terms of overall risk. So the, the message at the moment is that there's really nothing to worry about and yep. we shouldn't stop consuming these products. Uh, yes, these things, I mean, I suppose aspartame has been in use for about 30 years. It's, I think it's the most widely used artificial sweetener. Um, so, I, yeah, definitely don't panic. Don't, you don't need to stop drinking your um, Coke Zero or Pepsi Max yet. I'm sure that's good news for many people. Mm -hmm. Professor Oliver Jones, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you very much.